Vermont, a state that welcomes everyone, the nonprofit group Vermont Interfaith Action and a group of concerned Vermonters have made it their mission to get all towns and cities in the state to sign a declaration of inclusion. NBC 5's Tyler Baronski was at a meeting tonight celebrating those who have taken that pledge. Tyler? Well, as part of Vermont's Inclusion Week and Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, 110 municipalities were honored at the College Street Congregational Church in Burlington to commemorate their adoption of the Declaration of Inclusion. Now, that amount represents 66% of Vermont's population. Cities and towns that have committed to the, to the Declaration of Inclusion promise to formally condemn all forms of discrimination and commit to fair and equal treatment of everyone in their communities. Leaders say this movement is an important step in the process of creating equity in a state that is predominantly white. We must continue to do this work so all of our residents feel that they belong in the, our community and this state. And the thing about inclusion is that not only is it an action hidden in the body of a noun, but it's an action that can be uniquely and exclusively performed not by the people who have been excluded, but by the people already there. And to put words into action, the Vermont Community Foundation is starting a new grant program offering towns and cities up to $10,000 to help them develop programs to ultimately make their communities more inclusive. Now, organizers say their work isn't done. Their next goal is to get every city and town to, to adopt the declaration by October. Live in Burlington, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.